Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And first, I would also uh, like to join my colleague in adding to the congressional record by unanimous consent a list of the uh, majority staff members. I must say, Without in objection. all fairness, uh, while the cooperation among the members of the committee itself, uh, the cooperation among House and Senate members uh, was exemplary, I would also note the work of our staff. Those good men and women, uh, R&D, House and Senate, over the course of these years cannot be underestimated or underappreciated. The hours, the, the, the spirit of comedy, the focus on accomplishing things, trying to do good policy, it just cannot be understated how important uh, all those good folks uh, have been. With that, Mr. Speaker, uh, let me simply close by saying this. No one cares more about uh, agricultural policy, uh, farmers and ranchers, uh, consumers, and everyone in the process that takes it from the seed to the plate or the bowl uh, than I do. But I think in good faith I can say my colleague, Mr. Peterson, cares just as much as I do. The members of our committee care just as much as we do. This bill, done in what I would like to define as regular order, through the committee process and the floor and the conference, may not have exactly everything my friends on the right would want or my friends on the left would want, but it represents making the process work, achieving consensus putting into place policies that are better than what were there before to drive uh, this, this effort forward. I know that we sincerely disagree on many things. And I know some of my friends don't sometimes act like they care about what happens out on the farm or the ranch. I know that's not the case. They do care. But I would simply say this. No matter how much money we spend on supplemental programs to make sure our fellow citizens have enough to eat, and that's important, never forget if there's not a product on the shelf, if there's not meat in the case, if there's not vegetables or fruit available, it doesn't matter how much you subsidize. The food has to be there. And that's why I've said all along, a farm bill still has to have farm in it. This Agricultural Act of 2014 lives up to that. It makes a commitment to our fellow citizens who are in tough times. But it will also assure the food will be there. Don't take us down the path that many other countries have gone through in the last century of people lined up at empty shelves people hoarding particular ag products because it's available that day because they'll trade it the next day when something might be available. Let's continue to do this miracle called American agriculture. And oh, by the way, depending on how you define miracles in the environment we've worked together in, this farm bill might not be quite defined by most people as a miracle but it's amazingly close. Mr. Speaker, let's pass the conference report. Let's complete our responsibilities. Let's show the rest of this place how it's supposed to be done. I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back the balance of his time.